Hi Dollar Divas, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm super excited. I haven't really filmed like a, a Dollar Tree haul in a little while. I've done them as shorts, but haven't really, it's been a little while since I've done an actual long form video. Um, but I've got quite a few items and I wanted to share them in a long video today. Um, you'll have to excuse me, my hair is wet. Um, I just got my robe on, I have no makeup on. Long story short, I just got out of the shower. This week's been a little crazy. I am off the next four days from work, which is nice. And uh, But we've been painting. We've been redoing our guest bedroom, so I've been painting. Um, we also got new phones this week, and so we had to switch from like one carrier to another carrier. It's been a little crazy, and so I did want to get this video up, but I just could not fathom putting on makeup today. I wanted to see you guys, but I just didn't want to get dressed up to see you guys, so I hope you don't mind. But I do have a video planned that I want to film tomorrow, and I want to get this video up quickly tonight, and I'm going to film a couple videos tomorrow, makeup videos, of course, because I've got new makeup. Then I also want to do like a $20, like, full glam from Dollar Tree type video, so I just needed a break today. <laughs> um, but anyways, so yeah, I found lots of, I found some new makeup from Dollar Tree, and then a couple other random items that I wanted to share, so course if you're returning to my channel thank you so much for returning for another video you know I appreciate it very very much and if you're new to my channel my name is Jessica and I love to do a lot of dollar store and dollar tree oriented makeup and shopping content so today I'm doing a dollar tree haul but I'm not a dollar tree haul channel I do mostly bargain makeup and most of it does come from the dollar tree but I also do makeup brands like Sheen, Shop Miss A, I'm actually getting ready to do a Shop Miss A haul um, as we speak, I've been putting some stuff in my cart and I'm gonna make an order. Um, but, and also other stuff from like Family Dollar, Dollar General, like basically the under five, like $5 and under price point. And I love to do all the same type of content that the other makeup channels do, your drugstore channels, your luxury channels, your high-end channels. I just like to keep it in that bargain price point. So if you've been looking for a channel like mine, you're in the right place. I've got lots of makeup videos. Of course, I'm not running any today. Um, but I will have any content that I think you might be interested in listed down below, as well as my Dollar Tree haul playlist as well. But I'll have my some of my makeup playlists down there as well. So, And I do hope you will become part of our family of Dollar Divas here on YouTube and join the party with us. So, yeah, we're going to do some swatching and all that good stuff today. So, yes, without any further chit-chat, let's just go ahead and get into today's video. So a kind of a random item to get out of the way first. I just I just decorated for fall and I do try to replace these from time to time and I have one of these. It's similar, but I wanted to get two fresh ones and basically just a couple of fall themed pot holders. All of my pot holders come from the Dollar Tree. Honestly, I've tried to buy like expensive, like by expensive I mean like $20, like the silicone ones that come like this. I could never wrap my hand around the dish or like ones that are like little like mitts like this. I just find these here to be the simplest, best thing to get my pots like out of the oven and stuff like that. I do replace them, you know, maybe, you know, once every now and again, you'll start to feel like the hot come through and that's never good. So, um, but they do last me a good long while. They always have different styles. And so I wanted to get a couple fresh um, fall ones. So bought two of those because now I'm into the fall decor. It's been about two weeks, if I'm being completely honest. So, you might have seen in one of my shorts, the um, Power Stick has a dupe for the Sol de Janeiro, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, like their original scent, which I don't own that one. I do have a small version of one of them, number 68, that I kind of bought on a whim one day at Sephora. Um, but, um, and I've actually used about half of it. It's nice. I might not purchase it again, but it's nice. And I've never owned the original, um, but I do know what it smells like because I've smelt every single one that they have. Um, but I did end up picking this up. Um, I don't know if the soft floral one, which is the other variety, I see if that's a dupe for anything. If it is, let me know. But I figured I'd pick this up. It's just like, it's almost like the stuff that like men wear like the in these little cans, these body sprays. It says it's cruelty-free, dye-free, paraben-free, sulfate-free, and vegan. So it's basically... This is the Brazilian Mist. It's got notes of pistachio and salted caramel. I'm able to smell it a little bit through the thing. It smells really good. These have been pretty well stocked at a couple of my Dollar Trees. Um, I know a lot of you guys are having trouble finding them, but I'm going to see what it smells like. Ooh, that smells good. That reminds me of something. It reminds me of something other than Sol de Janeiro. <laughs> it reminds me of something other than Sol de Janeiro. 
I'll have to try to think of it, but yeah. I kind of thought I might like keep this in work just to kind of like freshen up sometimes. So found that. Um, let me know what you think if you use this, especially if you've used the original, like the expensive one. Definitely let me know. And I also found some eyeshadow palettes, which is super exciting because I don't always have new eyeshadow to try from the Dollar Tree. So now I'm set for a little while, so I'm super duper excited about that. So I only had more um, of the makeup that is in the heart packaging. And the crazy thing about this is after like the initial display, when I, I actually, I did a full makeup look Full, almost full face of Ioni when they came out with all this like pink packaging and stuff. I'll have it linked down below. Um, I have the little powder, the mattifying powder in the heart shape packaging. Um, is There has been like a fresh new display at my Dollar Tree of all that stuff that I've already used. And But these were just randomly in with the regular makeup. So anyways, these are the only two shades or only two new things from them that I saw. I got a highlighter and a blush. So the blush is in Poppy Pink, and that is what it looks like. And then the highlighter is in Glow. And I don't think this is a repackaged color. So let's look at the blush. You know me, I'm always gonna try. It says it's buildable and blendable, complements all skin tones, it's pigmented and has a soft texture. So of course that packaging is super cute. Oh yeah, that blends really nice. So I kind of put a swatch, then I just kind of blended it out with my finger. And of course, you know, then they, of course they have liquid blushes and they've always had really nice um, powder blushes. That looks really, that's going to be, you know, again, you're going to have to go with a light hand. But I do find the stuff that has come in these little hearts is very finely milled, like their powder, very fine. There's not like all this dust and um, extra stuff. So really, really, really nice. Excited to try that tomorrow when I film a new makeup video. And then the highlighter, of course, it says it's uh, brighten. It says brighten and shine. It's got a soft texture. It's long lasting. So again, super, super, super cute. I just love these little packages. That is very finely milled as well. And I don't, and I don't even know if you can tell on camera. What I mean by finely milled is it's just a very fine powder, and there's no like chunks or big glitter flakes or anything like that. This actually has like a different feel than I think their other ones as well. Again, super excited to try both of these products tomorrow. Then of course I'm hoping to have that video up on maybe Saturday. Then I found this City Color Collection Primer Oil. It says it's non-greasy, smooths and softens, it's vitamin enriched. I know City Color, I think I've heard people say they've found things from this brand at Dollar Tree like over the last couple years. I've never seen anything by them, I do not believe. So I would love to find more stuff from like, I love when new brands pop up at Dollar Tree or brands that you know, have been around, but they pop up at Dollar Tree. So yeah, this is like a primer oil. And so I'm assuming you put it on under, and I like that it comes with one of these old things so you can tell if it's been like tampered with. I hate when people tamper with stuff. Especially when there's not one that you can like grab that has not been tampered with, you know. There is no smell from what I can tell. No smell from what I can tell. Really soft. It really doesn't feel greasy if, if that's, which is kind of crazy. It doesn't have like a super greasy like texture. But yeah, I guess we'll try that under our makeup tomorrow and give it a try. I don't think, I've never used a primer oil and I know they make them. I know there's like liquid primers and primer oils and other brands make them and stuff. I've just never tried one. So super excited to try that. And then I just did um, my last testing new Dollar Tree makeup video. Again, I'll have that link down below. I tried some new makeup from La Mercerie. They're rolling out with new products. I think I had a powder, bronzer, concealer, um, might have been another thing or two, um, but I didn't see, when I bought those, I didn't see any lip products. Now, they had a, quite a few shades. I only picked one. So, I got this one here. This is the shade 721. It's a full coverage lip gloss. So, uh, this is the shade I got. It says it's effortless application, moisture rich, highly pigmented lip gloss. Non-sticky formula for fuller, beautiful lips. Like, I mean, seriously, like, this doesn't even look like $1.25 makeup anymore. This just looks so pretty. This looks like back in, like, like the old school, like, Too Faced days. You know what I'm saying? You get, like, a full-size container. 
Doesn't seem to be any smell or taste. This color is going to be really pretty, I think. And I have, I bought two lip liners from um, LA Colors. I think I used one in my last video, I believe. There's been a lot of water in the bridge since then, but um, I, and I have another one, another shade I can try. So this is the shade right here. It looks really, really, really pretty. It is full coverage. I mean, look at the color pigment on that. So yeah, very excited to try that. Like I said, I think I have another lip liner as well. And that's if I even used one of those lip liners in my last video. I can't remember. Like I said, a lot of water been under the bridge since then. <laughs> but yeah, definitely gonna be trying that tomorrow. Then last, but certainly, certainly not least, Y'all, and I, I, you guys have been warning me about this, and I finally found them. And between two Dollar Trees, I found three. Beauty Intuition has three other color stories. I've got all four of their other ones. I've got the peach, I've got like the pinks, I've got the pastels, and I get the moody neutrals. And I've done a look with all four of those. And um, again, I'll have those videos listed down below. And then here I've got the smoky tones, the dreamy mauves, and the smoky browns. So this right here, of course, is the smoky tones. It's like a cool toned palette here. And we're just gonna have to start somewhere. So I'm gonna start with this one. So again, you get eight shades in these palettes and I've really had a lot of really good luck with them. This one here's got a couple of more shimmery shades. Really not bad, really not bad at all. So there's a couple of the matte shades there on the bottom. And so, yeah, I will definitely do a look with this one in the future. Don't know which one I'm going to use for tomorrow yet. I think given, like, the blush and the lip gloss, I may do the mauves. So we'll go into that one next. So let me open this one up. This one here, these next two are going to be really pretty for the fall. So look at that little color story. It's got some pinks. It's got your browns and oranges. It's even got kind of like a muted green shade here. It's like a, it's like a, maybe a grayish green like a grayish olive shade. A little bit more gray, but it does have a slight tinge of green. Ooh, look at that. So those are three of the shimmers. Look at that shade in the middle, you guys. Oh my goodness. That is so gorgeous. That is absolutely gorgeous. I love to dupe palettes. If you're new to my channel, I like to dupe like high-end and luxury palettes with um, Dollar Tree eyeshadow. And I just recently did one. And I love just having a good array of stuff to pull from. This shade here is one that actually is in a couple of high-end palettes that I own. A very similar shade to that. Like the Modern Re Renaissance. And the, the last one I did was um, the Pat McGrath, a Pat McGrath palette that I got at TJ Maxx. But I was able to dupe it and had a similar shade as well. So there's a couple of the mattes. Really, really, really nice. Super excited to try that one. And then the last one is the Smoky Browns. I'm gonna try to make sure I do some good fall like makeup looks for you guys this fall because I know a lot of people really, really love like the fall colors and um, and of course I do tend to do like full face of nothing new and like easily found Dollar Tree makeup and I try to dig into what I have when I can. So that is this color story right here. Super pretty. I don't know if this has any shimmers in it. This looks to be all mattes. Look at that, it seems to be really nice quality. And you just get these beautiful, um, I love that all of these shades are different. There really isn't any like repeat in here. And that is kind of a good thing with these Beauty Intuition palettes. They don't really have a ton of like super repetitive. It's almost like eight pans. 12 pans can be a little repetitive. Eight pans, they kind of, they have it kind of curated pretty nice. You know what I mean? Like this is the mauves one. That's a matte and then you have these two are shimmers one's dark one's light you get different stuff in there so and um yeah and this one here just seems to be a completely matte palette and you've got kind of the color of the rainbow it looks like a nice um palette you know it's got your light through dark and it, it just it's a nice like fall rainbow as i would call it so super excited to try this new makeup as well as some other things I've collected. Um, like I said, I'm going to film that tomorrow. And then I also want to do a like Dollar Tree $20 full glam type makeup look. So um, anyways, let me know if you've seen these products. Like I said, I knew I knew that there were some new palettes from Beauty Nutrition. And um, I was so excited I found them. If there's still another one, I've got seven of their palettes. If there's still another one, let me know. 
just because. Um, anyways, if you enjoyed this video, show me you did by hitting the like button. I'll have my Dollar Tree haul playlist as well as some makeup content and any of the videos I mentioned throughout the video down below that we can binge watch more content. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.